Good evening. It's a lovely to see you. Yeah. Right, making the paralysed walk again. It sounds like the stuff of fantasies, doesn't it? But not according to the experts who say it's an absolute reality. And what's more, some of the biggest strides are being made right here. Indeed. Auckland University Spinal Cord Injury Research Centre. It's funded almost entirely by the Catwalk Trust, you'll have heard the name. And as Michael Holland finds, Catwalk's newest ambassador personifies why they're working so hard. She's sugar and spice with sparkling dreams. I want to run along the grass, learn to surf, jump on a trampoline. And a sparkling sense of humour. I might even run the New York Marathon, but only if Justin Bieber ran it with me. Hope you're watching this, Justin. Justin Bieber? What's going on with Justin Bieber? I really like Justin. The song's good, sorry. For 14-year-old Jamie, though, there's not even a hint of feeling sorry for herself. This is her now, but absolutely, definitely not forever. I just know I'm going to look again. I just really... Really not, I'm gonna walk again. Yeah, she's got a huge desire in her heart to walk again. She is always looking down at her toes and trying to make them wiggle. I, do, I don't feel sad thinking about this stuff because I just feel inspired. What do you see on her face when she's looking down at her toes? Determination. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And a smile. She, she never looks down and gets upset about it. Jamie's life change coming on what had, until that traumatic day, sand journeying near 90 Mile Beach, been the perfect family holiday. It was a really nice holiday, lots of fun things that we did. But within moments of this photo being taken... I should have been going so fast and I couldn't dig my toes in. Then I saw three cartwheels through the air. And I knew she'd broken something. I was very dazed and um, bruised all down one side. And she just said, Mum, I can't feel my legs. So now I'm classed as a T4 complete. A T4 complete. Yeah, T4 is around this height. From the despair of those early days in Starship Hospital to the optimism of now. Jamie's come to Auckland Med School Spinal Injury Research Centre, largely funded by the Catwalk Trust. One of these vertebral discs would have slipped and crushed into the spinal cord that sits just in this little hole here. To learn of pioneering developments. It's really, really powerful, exciting stuff. The thrust of the world-leading research to inject a virus into the damaged spinal cord, which creates a gene that breaks down scar tissue and allows nerves to regenerate. Once you've broken down the scar tissue that surrounds the injury, it then allows nerves to regrow and form new connections. I see hope. I see hope here um, for Jamie's future. Jamie says she will walk again. Respectfully, is that pie in the sky? No, not at all. No, it will happen. Not surprisingly, the major impediment to progress... Money. Now that's about employing people. It's about offering scholarships to students. So with more money, we can have more people stairs instead of ramps and I want to kick my sister's butt. Kick mine as well. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. Be sweet. Yeah, mm. will be very sweet. Mm. Justin? Justin, sorry I didn't mean to ring you. That could just about get you a roll on Shortland Street. <laughs> <laughs> we could absolutely could. Yeah. Did you realise that we were that close? In terms of advancements? No, uh, no, I didn't. Close up all but, but I have a broad theory. You know all the stuff we angst about in modern society these days, the world coming to an end, global warming and so on. Science, I honestly believe that science fundamentally will solve most problems that yeah. we now see as insurmountable. Is the key. In some way, shape or form, science is the key. But of course, as we heard in the track, money is the key here. So I am a patron for the Catwalk Trust, so I'm pretty passionate about this one. If you can, text WALK to 2448, $3, and that will help mm. to make these Good advancements happen very quickly.